So this is the Orange Pi PC, which I'm using to run some experiments on temperature control. Given that I've got an Orange Pi Zero uh, chugging away, connected up to the 3D printer, and uh, it's got a fan on it, just like uh, I've got on the top of this one. But um, yeah, I didn't want to run it the whole time. So I thought, well, it's working at the moment, so I'm not going to interfere with it too much. But I'll use this one as a test bed for maybe getting something like some fan control. So I've therefore got temperature control. Uh, there's an all winner um, H3 Plus under this heatsink. So I've already put one heatsink on, and I'll put another two on the uh, RAM chips. Um, yeah, they're a little warm. They're not doing anything at the moment, though. Uh, what I'm also going to do, you'll notice that there's a big space here. Um, so rather than put a device here, I'm capturing on a different device. So you hear me typing from time to time. And uh, what I'll do is um, I'll capture that and, uh, and put that in there. So the first thing is to just get some uh, temperature measurements uh, before it's actually doing anything. So I'll run that. And... Nothing's happening. Let's try that again. Oh, there's an extra character in there. Here we go. All right, that's better. All right, so it's coming up at around uh, 25 degrees at the moment. So, um, you know, which is perfectly reasonable given that we're down here in the garage and it's not really doing anything at all. So I will just stop that. Now, I've got some uh, temperature, uh, so I've got some a stress test that I can run in the background. So let me do that if I can find that from previous. There we go, that should stress it out a fair bit. Uh, so that's running in the background now and then I'll run the temperature check, hopefully the right one. And it'll go very slow because it's actually got doing a lot of stress in the background, but we should see the temperature climb uh, it's, I think, 45 seconds of fairly heavy seat. Yeah, so it's got 38 degrees it's climbed up to. It's very slow recording that, reporting that. Let's get another line. It should pick up once that stress test in the background is finished, which is 40, there's up to 40.3. Should be a bit higher than that. And it's dropped down because now the uh, the stress test is over. And there you can see also the updating is picking up. So obviously that stress test has uh, stopped going on the background too. So that's nice. All right. So that's what uh, is happening. Uh, but what I'd like to do is to um, maybe alter that a little bit by running the fan at the same time. So uh, let me just stop this recording here. And save that. All right, I'll edit some of this so you guys don't have to see all this nonsense in the background. But anyway, there we go. All right, that's that one. All right, so um, what's happening is that, um, well, the plan is that I'm going to actually run the fan via this transistor. So um, if I can measure the temperature in here, then I can react to it. So I've got a little script, which I'll also uh, put up in here, and it's on the blog as well, obviously. So you can always uh, copy and paste if you wanted to do something similar. And uh, I've just tapped into the GPIO pins here. So uh, I've got pin six uh, in the uh, on the Orange Pi PC going out via a 1K resistor, which I can we see under that mess there? Let's have a look. Yep, there it is. That's that 1K resistor here. And that goes to the base of an SS8050, one of my favorite little um, transistors, NPN. And then we've got um, we've got our load, uh, which goes through here. And that's connected up to 5 uh, volts. So 5 volts out then to the collector and then the emitter back to ground. And then the code just says uh, if you get above 35 degrees, you know, that's a that's an issue. And if you also get above 45 degrees, then I want you to turn the fan on. Uh, if you get below 45 degrees, uh, then keep the fan on. But when you get below 35 degrees, you can turn it off. So a little 10 degree um, hysteresis in there. 
so let's run that one and see how that one works. So I'm going to first I'll just capture this again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, before the stress test, I've got to run my little script, if I can find it, from before. There it is. That's my little script, which is called uh, Fan Temp. So uh, let's run that one and let's run it actually as a background. So I'll just put a little ampersand on that one. So, oh, that's actually just cat. That's no good. Try again. I don't want to cat it. I want to actually run it. There we go. So that's running as a background process. So um, nothing should happen until we put the stress test on. So let's do that. And let's go for, let's say, 60 seconds. And we'll run that in the background. And the fan should cut in when it goes above 35 and 45. So far, I can't see indication of that happening. Let's get a monitoring temperature here and find out what the temperature is. Might not be triggered at the moment. It says 41. Forty two. I have to change that script. That heatsink's doing too good a job down here in the garage. And it's gone back down. Yeah. Okay, so what we could do is change the script temperature. So let's go down a bin and it was called fan temp or something like that. There we go. So I'll change these temperatures uh, to, let's say, 30 degrees. And 40 degrees. So let's go 35, just to be sure. So that's a five degree hysteresis. All right, so let's save that. And let's clear all this nonsense. That fan, uh, temp is will need to be killed so let's let's kill the one that's in the background let's find it first let's see if it's running yeah so grip fan yeah, it's definitely still running. So it's 3507. So let's go kill 3507. And yep, not going. Okay, good. So now we'll run it again. So let's run the fan temp again. There it is running in the background. Then we will run our stress test for 60 seconds. And there you go, fans cut straight in. Let's even get a temperature. Maybe 35 was a little low. And of course the fan's not doing anything while it's sitting up there, so let's sit over here. So that's 42.3, I think we set it at 35. So I'm not sure that uh, it'll make any difference. 
because it's not sealed at this stage, but it should keep it a bit cooler. Let's see what this one brings up. Yeah, so there you go, so it's dropped. So that fan is effective. And then when it drops below 35, when that 60 seconds is up, it will cut out completely. So it's 39, stress is finished, and fan is finished. So, and we're back down to 28. So, yeah, let's just see that one again. So the fan temp script is running in the background. Um, should we change? We might just change those temperatures. We'll get above 40. That'll be interesting from a hysteresis point of view. So I'll just get that up again. So we'll go to, let's say, 35, so it doesn't kick off straight away. Uh, let's go to 30, let's go to 38. And let's say we'll go to 40. So just a two degree hysteresis. Good one. All right, so that, I have to kill that fan temp. So let's see what the process is. So it is 3831. So we'll kill that. And then we'll run it again. All good. We'll um, run our stress test again. This will be interesting. And then we'll run our temperature. So the fan shouldn't come off, come in until it's 38 degrees and then 40. Oh, 39.7. That is so close. And there's the fan. Yeah, we're just going to see if we can cool it below that. I don't think it did last time. It was down around a 41 degree mark. Yeah, 40.1, so it's not going to get below, below the 38. But yeah, pretty cool. So the next thing to do then is to actually, because that seems to work fine, I've done a bit of testing on it. So what I'm going to do is I've got this little uh, piece uh, here left over, and you know, there's so many of these little bits left over from other projects, I think I'm never going to use that, but in this case I am going to use that. And uh, what, and there's the fan cutting out there, uh, temperature of, yeah, you know, is that 26 degrees, so all good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this SS8050 on here with the 1K resistor, and I'm going to stick it up underneath the, um, the lid here so it's cooled by the fan as well. Um, I'll put these on, and, uh, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll see how the whole thing's working. So here we are, soldered up with the extra heat sinks on. You can see the little PCB at the back with the SS8050. So it's all wired and ready to go. Let's give it a try. Alright, so let's try and uh, get this back up and running again. So if we do a stress test at 120 seconds, then we'll try and get the monitor up at the same time. And we'll see what happens with that fan. Inside the enclosure, it should be a little warmer this time. 40.7. There goes the fan. The fan should be a bit more effective too, sitting right over the top of the CPU. So it might even cut out. And there it goes, yeah, so it's effectively bringing it down to under 38. It's only two degrees though, so it should probably kick in again. There's still a bit more time. Let's see what the next one brings. Still staying pretty cool. I guess those extra heat sinks on the RAM helps as well. Nearly there, 39.8. So it 
Still got time to kick in, I think, before the two minutes is up. And there it goes. Forty point two. Fan should bring that down. And there it is. So yeah, I think that'll work pretty well. I'll um, change those parameters, but I'm pretty happy with that. That is a self-regulating uh, fan for the Orange Pi PC. And then um, I guess I'll um, retrofit the same sort of device to the uh, Orange Pi Zero that's sitting there uh, with the printer. And um, that will be a good result. Uh, so that's the circuit working, and we'll see you next time.